Hello, everybody, and welcome back to uh, Nostalgia Funhouse Let's Play. I am playing Barney the Hide and Seek game. That is because coming out this Sunday, Johnny and I did a review of the Barney documentary, I Hate You, You Love Me. So, what's a better way than to play some Barney? Let's let's get into it. The Barney hide and seek game for the Sega Genesis. Oh, he blows kisses. AIDS blows kisses. Oh, I just watered the flower. Did I give that bunny uh, my Barney magic? Gave. Oh, there's a friend. How do you get up there, though? I found him. I forgot to read. You got to find uh, so many friends and so many presents. I found a ball. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be playing this game for very long. But I wanted to do it, you know, as kind of a promotion piece for what Johnny and I did. Uh, going through, watching that documentary. Uh, please check it out. It, we're, it, it, the documentaries on Peacock our kind of review overlook of it of what we got out of it and everything else if from a nostalgia aspect and what we remember from the big purple they just straight take control I was trying to put my phone on silent and they were like no there's my friend uh just giving us aspects on it and everything else and the wacky world of Barney. I gotta, it's very interesting. Love or hate Barney. He's here. He's probably considered very much. Um, why won't this, why? No, I want to go the other way. Uh, he's definitely a pop culture icon. Um, like I said, love or hate him, he's he's there. He's in the the pop culture history books is probably one of the hottest little kids trends ever. Oh look, I found. Did I find everything? Okay, no. But oh, there's Baby Bob. All right. And it was just, uh, I don't want to get into too much of what Johnny and I did, but it was a really great documentary. Um, makes you think, especially from somebody by the time, oh, I get to put this in the garbage. No. Oh. All right. I'm just looking for presents of friends right now, Barney, but... From where you stood on Barney, you know, did you did you grow up with Barney? Were you a Barney hater? Um, he's there. I, I, there's there's no two ways around it. He's there. Love him or hate him. I've never really heard too many people say, "Eh, he's just another." He, he's a dinosaur. It's either been I love Barney or I hated Barney. That bear looks awfully sad. So you give the bear a hug and it runs away. Remember that. Give a bear a hug. <laughs> no, no, I don't want to go back. Oh, these blue balloons. Uh, he is definitely pretty annoying. Did I find everything? Did, did, did we complete... I think I needed to find another present. How many did you find? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. You found seven. 
I don't know if there was ever a Barney game for the Super Nintendo, but here we are. Make the guitar play. No. Oh, Barney's got some. Can I say for a, a child's game, Barney has some really great jumping abilities. I don't want to kiss the flower. I want to find find that girl. So I can give her a hug and try and complete the level. Oh, I'm going to give this drum some... Barney magic. I don't know how many views this is going to get, but like I said, just go check out the documentary. Check out our review. It's very interesting. Um, of what? What the? Of what? Uh... The creator of Barney's son did, and how they try to get him off on it, or get get him off from the crime. Uh, it's it's very 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 interesting things that I did not know about this lovable purple dinosaur. Nope, I don't want that blue. Let's play the bass drum. Like I said, I don't know how much of this I'm going to actually play. I saw it, and I was like, you know what? Let's let's ride with it. Let's. Oh, oh! I needed that balloon. Anybody, maybe, uh, in the comments, maybe you had this, <laughs> maybe you played it, and it's so funny that this is on the Sega Genesis, because the Sega, the Sega didn't really care about, <laughs> it seemed like content, uh, Blood Code for Mortal Kombat, I missed two friends and two presents uh, it's so that's why it's kind of shocking to see this I know there's a lot of early childhood education probably some games on the NES Sesame Street there's some Fisher Price stuff not gonna lie I've gotten bored I've tried it out it's very remedial just like this Ooh, we're under the sea. Barney can breathe under the water. Can we open? Oh, we can't open up the treasure, but we can find this kid. So you can only jump. Like, you can't just jump to jump, I noticed. It's like, as I creak. Critique Barney hide and seek, but I noticed you can only jump when it's a jumping situation. Like, I can't just jump to jump. That's why he is always blowing kisses. Because you can't just jump to jump. Like, once you find somebody, that's A, B, and C. You're, you are blowing kisses. That lobster. What do we find? A seahorse as a gift. Oh, no, wait. I don't know what's going on. Super 
Oh, uh, I missed. I missed the jump. Let's look for our friends and the hidden presents. I do not own this game, just to let you know. I'm playing this kind of under emulation. <laughs> uh, no offense to the Barney fans and Barney lovers out there. I don't think I would spend my money on on a Barney game. Right. Yeah, we, we get it, Barney. We found a lobster. Now we got a teddy bear. Can I ride the sea turtle? Oh. There she is. So I got all five friends. And three presents. Look, it's a fish. I just walk off and there's Barney. Hi, Barney. All right, I think we're going to go one more. And uh, shockingly enough, this is actually kind of pretty uh, entertaining for me in a weird way. <laughs> I don't know. Probably because the game's so simplified and there's really nothing to get mad at in this game. Uh, there we go. Why? Oh, he got you. Oh, remember. Stop. I like it. <laughs> There's some games where I really do need that feature where the moving platform stops. And you're like, no, we've had enough. <laughs> oh, this is a twofer. Or a threefer. Get up. Two presents and a kid. Or, a, sorry, a friend. Got a dump truck. Duck. I see a balloon. We found a heart. Look, it's a friend. It is a friend. Remember, I love you. Mwah. Mwah. I see a friend. Remember, I love you. It's a rooster. Oh boy. A chicken. That's a that's a sheep, Barney. Barney does have hops. I feel like they should have made this game frustrating so kids when they got older. They would know the frustrating of a platformer. Oh, got baby bop. Let's get baby bop. You're done. Like I said, just wanted to play this game, uh, go through it, talk about why I'm playing this game, and the upcoming episode of the Nostalgia Funhouse, or where Johnny and I review I Love You, You Hate Me, the Barney documentary. Uh, so please uh, check that out. Really great. Uh, if you like what we're doing, go check out our Patreon. We got great little skits going on over there as well. Only a dollar a month right now. You know, until we can kind of get things going, we might be working on tiers. Right now we're, like I said, just kind of getting it going. I'll put the link to our Patreon in the description below. Uh, subscribe. And, you know, check out the Facebook page as well for the Nostalgia Funhouse. But with that being said... I'm Andrew Lenz for the Nostalgia Funhouse. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night.